Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK, my name is MJ and this will be another shopping vlog. We are going to be hitting Sainsbury's, one of the smallest Sainsbury's in the world. I've just had my hair cut, don't even worry about it. Uh, one of the key things I'm looking for is the new Kit Kat, uh, salted caramel fudge. I'm not expecting to find it, but um, to be fair I did come in here the other day and they did have an empty shelf with the label on, so I'm hoping they might have stopped it, but I'm not going to get my hopes up because that is a fool's game. It starts off and uh, you've got like fruit and veg and whatnot. Like I said, it's pretty small same fruit. But I'm going to beeline straight for... I can see there is a filled spot. Ah, oh, fuming. Fuming, fuming, fuming. Uh, I thought they might have it. I thought they might have it and they don't, so that is fine. Maybe there's a display somewhere. Maybe I walked straight past the goddamn display. I'm an absolute villain. Uh, yay, they've got it. I was actually embarrassed and you, I might have even caught on film that I just walked immediately straight past it. Anyway, that's good news. Cool. I've uh, just got a basket and I've got someone's shopping list. What have we got? Necked apples. Bernie, congrats, corned beef, cannelloni, grapes, cream, egg, sugar, porridge, thick cream times two. Oh, what are they making with thick cream? This movie is absolutely sensational. I almost want that. I can't. I basically can't really sort of buy scrupulous things this month because I'm so skint. But uh, that is quite tempting. This might be the least uh, interesting thing I've ever filmed in a supermarket, but I need fresh rosemary. So. Quite nice sort of chickens for lunch boxes, sandwiches, that kind of thing. Firecracker mini fillets. Uh, I know you guys quite like a foreign section. Got some Polish drinks here, Frugo. I'm sure someone's uh, recommended one of the, the other flavors of Frugo, but I can't remember which flavor it was. Oh, that's funny. I literally just saw a review of this yesterday. The guy's name is Mr. Lyman HD. Uh, it's actually a really good channel guys, go subscribe, Mr Lyman HD did review the 75p, um, he pointed out that it's got a plastic sort of bottle, or can rather, but then a metal lid, pretty interesting. Wow these look nice and premium, cheesecake with Belgian chocolate and strawberries and cream cheesecake, strawberry and raspberry shortbread cheesecakes, limited edition St Clement's Yeo Valley. I think if I uh, really liked yoghurt, which I don't really, uh, I'd probably buy that because flavour combination is interesting. Not familiar with this brand, Capsicana. Looks interesting though, they've got what? Uh, tomatillo sauce there. That's the green tomato. Interesting. And I'll tell you what, Oaxaca, or Oaxaca, however you pronounce it, have just rebranded. And honestly, that there, the Sainsbury's own brand, brand, looks better than Oaxaca. They've sort of ruined their branding. They used to be really bold, but nah. Messed it up, mate. I've not seen these either. Jamie Oliver, chickpeas, dal, roll dal. Nah, that's just dal. Uh, quinoa and spelt. Oh yeah, good idea. Um, oh, Belgian selection. Would like to try their UK iterations. But like I say, I can't really justify spending too much on myself. Uh, on just random purchases this month. Ugh, that's, that's a good price, isn't it? Salted caramel. Oh, it's caramelised salted caramel, that's not as good. Quite nice to see Mallow and Marsh making a bigger impact in stores. They've got quite a lot of the range here in Sainsbury's. These grab bags look quite good. Fairly expensive though. Probably would say they're slightly overpriced. Oh, and well, they have got the new Galaxy wafer curls as well. Uh, I haven't tried them yet. I've got those ones at home to review, but I've not tried these yet. Oh, I've not tried any yet, is what I'm saying. So I've had a real hankering for Turkish delight recently. Not food, but minifigures, half price. That is a good price point. It's so tempting, because I still actually don't have all the figures. But, like I said, can't buy stuff for myself. Fuck you! Mikado's got to be one of the most satisfying and easy to eat items ever created, right? So here's something guys, you obviously know to go to or Rich. Uh, talking to him the other day about boasters. Was it McVitie's boasters? And he's never tried them. And ever since we spoke about it, I've been trying to find them. 
they're basically these giant cookies with big chunks of hazelnut in but I can't find them anywhere guys do they not sell them anymore I believe that Nutrigrain is about to go for a big sort of rebrand oh <laughs> it's right there yeah there we go um, that's what the the actual normal Nutrigrain is going to look like as well not really familiar with this what's this mirror glaze don't really what is that just shiny icing get over yourself I've had white chocolate angel delight in the cupboard for ages and not made it and uh, finally made it today looking forward to trying it and uh, yeah just not seen it anywhere since I think they've got rid of it again why are we getting rid of white chocolate guys it's better than chocolate come on I always find it fascinating what uh, sort of own brand companies or own brand brands call their sort of versions of big brands so obviously shreddies they've got whole grain maltese they stuck a lot of the pip and nut in Sainsbury's look very good that one looks good the chocolate variety ooh Pokemon toys mate I love Pokemon but I am not as good at the newer Pokemon Kamala obviously that's Pichu uh, I like this guy he's a fire poison type I think is a Salaman Salaman uh, what is it Salamander yeah yeah, I think I did actually train one up. I wasn't such a fan of the evolved form. You have to have a female to evolve as well. Not, I'm not saying it's sexist, I'm just... I've had multiple people... Um, where are they then? Multiple people uh, say how good these are. And I guess consumers, generally speaking, agree. Part of vision. Anything interesting in the reduced section? Rich beef casserole, piri piri chicken. Uh, we've got large plates. Oh, hey, Milo. £2.34, not even worth that, to be honest. Like I said, it's a very small Sainsbury's, so they don't exactly have a comprehensive um, ice cream section. But they, they've got a few stuff here, haven't they? These uh, praline... Ma oh, just bang the thing. Uh, these praline magnums look really nice, don't they? Good packaging design. Oh, look, there's me. Hello. My boss recently recommended the Whitby, I think it's Whitby, Whitby um, breaded fish, but like the lemon sole, I think it is. Haven't found them yet, though. Limited selection of snacks. But they do have what is uh, off the beaten path. Pea and bean. And rice and seaweed crispy curls. Okay guys, I think that's it for my little exploration of a small Sainsbury's. This was small Sainsbury's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Um, always watch with intensity, stimulating uh, vibrations. So, oh, mirror. Uh, but no, thanks for watching guys, and if you're new, subscribe for more videos.